Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and choose which player you dislike most and why. And while you're thinking and writing out your pick in the comments below, we are about to begin. Let's get the show on the pitch. PSG and Costa Rica goalkeeper Kaylor Navas has tested positive for the coronavirus disease. Bayern became the first team in Bundesliga history to score goals in 66 league fixtures in a row. Martial didn't want to be in the squad. That's the reason why he didn't travel yesterday to the game versus Villa, Rangnick revealed. Sergio Ramos made his first appearance for PSG at a home game, six months after he moved to the club. I miss these games and the Premier League. I'm very happy to be here with my new teammates. It was a good start, Coutinho stated after the match against Manchester United. Man United won four out of eight games under Rangnick. He also has three draws and a defeat. Felipe Coutinho scored a goal and provided an assist in four and a half minutes, coming on as a substitute with Manchester United at 0-2. Rafael Benitez is close to being sacked by Everton management. Who is going to win the best award? Hopefully Robert gets the title he deserves, Nagelsmann says. Rangnick explained why Ronaldo was withdrawn from the lineup for the match against Villa. Yesterday before training, Cristiano still had problems with his hip flexor and we then decided not to train him, told Man United manager. Ronald Araujo wants to stay at Barca, but expects a salary increase due to him receiving offers from the Premier League. Lewandowski scored a hat-trick against Köln. He now has 300 goals in the Bundesliga and only Gerrit Müller has more. 365 goals. Miller provided 150 assists in the Bundesliga throughout his 14 season spell at Bayern. In the top five leagues, only Messi has more during this time period. 180. Absolutely well deserved result. We cannot expect 10, 12 chances against that team. They are European champions, Guardiola noted after his win over Chelsea. No team will catch up to Man City if they keep winning every game. Chelsea deserved the draw, Tuchel admitted. The North London derby between Tottenham and Arsenal has been postponed due to COVID-19, injuries and the departure of guest players for the Africa Cup of Nations. Chelsea suffered defeat for the first time since December 4th, breaking an 11-match streak. Man City have won 12 Premier League games in a row. I won more individual titles than Ronaldo and Ronaldinho, but they both won World Cups. They are two players I grew up watching, Cristiano Ronaldo admitted. Barca were offered a loan for Vlahovic with an obligatory buyout for 18 million euros in the summer of 2020, but the club rejected. Andriy Shevchenko got sacked from Genoa. He won just once in 11 games. Atletico will not let you off Alex go either in winter or summer. The club believes in the player's potential and considers him valuable. Arsenal have made a 70 million euros bid for Vlahovic, though Dusan would rather go to another club. Newcastle agreed to a contract with Robin Gossens for 3.5 million euros per year. This is almost three times more than he receives in Atlanta. Arsenal are eyeing 33-year-old Diego Costa, according to Goal.com. Luke de Jong wants to stay at Barca. He won the player's respect. The club appreciates his professionalism. New transfers? Bayern doesn't have an oil source. Decisions must be reasonable, Nagelsmann said. We are the team that scores the most goals for them to say we play on counter-attacks, Carlo Ancelotti complained. Juventus is preparing an offer for Sardar Azmoun. Zenit wants 5 million euros. Carger had a say on postponement of Premier League games. No other league in Europe is doing this. Why can't the young players be given an opportunity in these circumstances? Jamie is indignant. Ronaldo scored between 50 and 60 goals a year, so you have to adapt to this reality. When he left, what changed was that it was up to me to take over, Benzema shared. A new contract for Salah? Contract talks is not like buying a smartphone. There are a lot of things from the agent's site, Klopp said. I wish Karius only the best. He will find a club, whether it's now or in the summer. From there he will go on, I'm very sure," Klopp stated. We are not putting Erling under any pressure at all. As a professional, he also has to understand that at some point you talk about the future," said Dortmund boss Hans-Joachim Watzke. Chelsea have recalled Kennedy from his loan spell at Flamengo. 
Yesterday, there were lots of top 5 leaks fixtures to witness. All the latest results are right in front of you. And let's dive into the main news of the release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's matches. As for the Premier League main event, Man City defeated Chelsea thanks to a magnificent strike from De Bruyne. Manchester United missed its 3-point ticket in a battle against Aston Villa, leading 0-2. The hosts responded to Bruno's double with an amazing debut by Coutinho. Firstly, Felipe gave an assist and then succeeded in accurately hitting the opponent's goal by himself. 2-2. After the matches were played, Manchester City strengthened its leadership even more. Meanwhile in the Bundesliga, Bayern once again showed everyone who is the main contender for the title. The tie versus Cold turned out to be another training session for Munich. 0-4. Lewandowski had a hat-trick and Talisa put in some effort for a goal too. Subsequently, Bayern are currently ahead of Borussia by 6 points. In Serie A, we are to mention the confident victory of Juventus over Udinese with 2-0. Goals from Dybala and McKennie made the day for the Oledi. Besides, the team is as close as possible to the Champions League zone. In Liga 1, PSG got another victory. Having no Messi and Neymar on the pitch, the Parisians easily dealt with Brest 2-0. Mbappe and Kerher netted the ball each. Paris and Germain are 11 points ahead of the nearest competitor. Next up, Spanish Copa del Rey, where we note the uncompleted battle between Sevilla and Betis, which was interrupted at 1-1 score. A stick was thrown at the Sevilla player Juan Jordan from the stands. After a while, the match officials decided to end the game ahead of schedule. At the African Cup, we highlight Egypt's triumph over Guinea-Bissau. Mo Salah was the one who provided the decisive strike. Inter is interested in signing Paulo Dybala in summer for free, according to La Gazzetta dello Sport. Inter CEO Beppe Marotta recently called the Argentine's agent to discuss details of a possible deal. The club from Milan is going to offer Dybala a five-year contract with a salary of 7.5 million euros per season, including bonuses, as well as a large signing bonus. As for this moment, the footballer receives 7.3 million euros a year at Juve. Usman Dembélé told Barca that he would not renew his contract on Barca's terms. He wants to leave not in January but for free on June 30th. He believes he is a leading world-class professional and should be paid accordingly. He wants 200 million euros for a five-year contract, including 20 million bonuses and 20 million euros as signing bonus. Truly shocking figures. Barca have already offered the player's services to Manchester United and Man City, but both are not ready to accept such conditions. Barca are about to withdraw the contract extension offer and notify Dembélé that he is to move on to the stands in case he and his agent keep going with this nonsense. Holland is getting closer to moving to Barcelona. The Catalans' negotiations with Erling are in full swing and it looks like they will have enough money to compete for the talent. Barca representatives expect to sign a new sponsorship contract with Binance. The cryptocurrency company can pay the Catalans 70 million euros per year. In addition, Blaugranas hope that Griezmann, Coutinho and Trincao will get sold. These three deals are aimed to help Barca raise another 110 million euros. Barcelona are going to compete for Holland with Man City, Man United and PSG, while Real Madrid will not participate in the race anymore. Kylian Mbappe is reported to be in talks to extend his contract with PSG. According to The Telegraph, he is not opposed to signing a new agreement with the Red and Blues, despite the fact that last summer he insisted on a transfer to Real Madrid. Mbappe's current agreement with PSG expires this summer. Earlier on, it has been repeatedly stated that Kylian moves to Real Madrid as a free agent. Friends, a new video has been released on our Football Mode channel, bringing you the list of footballers' wisest decisions in the history of the game. Go ahead and check it out for yourself. And that was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.